Hi guys, No Name Trapper here with you today. We're going to go over a little otter uh, trapping and, and some tactics that I use. So we're just going to get started. This is dry land trapping. You don't have to get wet to do this. So the first thing I want to talk about is uh, some bucket sets. Now I've ran these before and I haven't been able to use these for numbers just because of the fact that in Iowa we have a uh, three per license holder limit. But I do tag out every year and these methods work. I haven't used these for big numbers though. I Just when the, whenever I feel it and want to get my tags. So, all right, let's start with these. Now these are square buckets with 220. So the way I bait these guys is I'll put a fish, a chunk of fish in the uh, middle or the bottom in the back of the bucket, right? And the reason I do that is because otter have a low uh, head range. They're not very tall, so when they come in, it's a low approach. I'll also run triggers down if I'm specifically targeting otter, mainly because, like I said, they got that low head approach. So it, I don't run triggers up, um, so I'll run them down. So the otter will come around. They're a very curious animal, so if they see these buckets, you can run a... I'll have them notched out if I'm running. That's just for an example today. But I'll have it notched out, and a yellow bucket just draws more attention. Now, if you want to run a darker bucket, that, that'll keep you from maybe having theft issues as much. But the otter will see it from the water. They'll smell that fish, and what I do is I smear a beaver lure on that. So then the otter will come running up on the bank. Uh, they're not afraid to be on land at all. And they'll run up, put their head right in, boom, you got them. Okay, so that's how I run these. This, you know, now make sure you have your 220 staked. I'll have it staked on each side with rebar. And then back here, if I wire them off the back, I'll have another stake holding the bucket in place. Okay, guys, that's, that's how I like to run that. Um, those otters will take a 220 for a ride. Uh, so I like 220 magnums with strong springs, or you guys can do this with a 160 if need be. Okay, so that's this set. And if I were to long line with this set, what I would do is I would run one on this corner here that we're on, one down on this corner, one on that corner, one on the other corner over there. Like all four corners of four sets. all on dry ground to catch otter. So I can't implement this system here in Iowa just because, like I said, the three per license holder limit. But if you were to run this system, I think the beaver caster on the fish is a good way to go in the lower to mid part of the bucket because you don't want their head up, right? And then have them triggers running down. You can change that system if you want. That system works great for me, but make sure it's staked well and the bucket's staked well because they will take it for a ride. So, anyways, that's my set. If I would run it long lining, and we didn't have that limit, I'd do four per bridge. And also, guys, you could do pocket sets too. It's the same thing, but staying on dry ground, they're easier to put in. That's the set. So, we'll go to the next location. All right, guys, so here is location number two, and I'll show you the set, so let's come on down here. This is a 220, and the river's right on through there, and typically the last few seasons it's been more narrow, but I just threw in some brush to narrow it down, and so we got a trail that comes up here, which is also where the water runs off, and it goes from the river, and I'll show you kind of what's behind you. This was a marsh. We're in a severe drought, but this has been watered the last few seasons. Um, so anyways, imagine water to water travel way. So you come back down here and you, like I said, you see this is a 220. You can run a 160. If you have a 160, I would have it lifted off the ground a little. Imagine this is for otter. Okay, so they're low to the ground. So I won't use uh, a stakeizer or an H stand. If I use a stakeizer, it's gonna be low the ground but you do need to stake heavy. So you can use two rebar stakes. I usually use sticks there, and then I'll usually stake off to the side. So the otter will come running up this trail into the other water source, and you're setting in between that. 
Okay, so that's the set. And also we can run a snare at this location. So I'll pull this out real quick and we'll show you that. All right, so scratch that set right there. It only takes a second to rebuild this though. This is a quick set to bank. All right, so we scrapped that. I, I didn't bring a snare with, so we're just gonna use an example of some cable. All right, so this is how you just kind of make the trail for them to narrow them in a little. You're gonna have to be a little imaginative here with me because I didn't bring a support wire or anything. So you'll stake your snare and I wouldn't use rebar. I really wouldn't. And you're gonna drop your snare down like so. You can pinch it down a little bit, have something hanging over if you want. And for an otter, you're gonna make a snare about, my loop's about like that and about that high. Okay, I know this isn't a real snare, so like I said, use your imagination. Stake heavy, have a support wire over here holding it in place very firmly. And I actually snared an otter here, I think, two or three years ago. So it works well. He was dead here the next day, wrapped up. And that's water to water. That's how you get your otter. All right, guys. Here's uh, location number three today. In the background here, I've got a, a big pond. And then we've got this trail coming up over the center of the overflow. It goes down the other overflow and on the other side of the road and leads down to a creek. So this is an awesome land location to catch otter. Um, so I'm not gonna put in a full set. You guys already seen a 220 set, but basically you put this 220 in here, you blend it in, stake it. And I caught, uh, I think three otter here, either last year or the year before, I can't remember which. So that's how you do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you I'm going to go ahead and show you my other set. And typically I run a one and a half for this set, but for a new trapper, somebody who hasn't had a lot of experience with one and a half in trapping otter, I would recommend, uh, you know, either a Bridger 165 or a Duke one and three quarter, maybe a taller jaw profile and a trap that's set up a little better to hold an otter. So this is a 165. So what you're going to do here is you're going to find a spot where you know this otter is going to step. All right? So we know he's going to step. He's going to run up this trail, and he's going to step. This will be his, uh, his right foot if he's coming from this direction, his left foot if he's coming down. So what we're going to do then is we're going to just bed this trap down. Now, you can dig it out, and I have before, guys, but I a lot of times with my blind sets, I just take the time, make sure that the trap is stir on sturdy ground, like that, and then I'll tear up some grass. I'll reach around, tear up some small grass. Here, let's see. Been too dry here, guys. All right, so we're gonna just brush that in with some of that. And boom, there's our set right there, guys. And we'll be staked off the side with either a earth anchor or a pogo. Uh, I wouldn't run rebar uh, just because they are tough animals and they'll take this for a ride. You can see here they'll run up this trail, plant a foot right there, and we'll have them. So that's that set. Just another location. And I hope that helps you guys. We've got one more location we'll show. And uh, this is easy dry land trapping for otter. And you can catch them in numbers here. Remember, multiple sets each side of this road. I caught three otters, and I only had two 220s here that year. And the third otter ran back in the pond, and then when he came back the next day, I caught him. So uh, there's the potential to catch multiple animals here. So anyways, here's that one. All right, guys, so here's our fourth location. And you're going to have to visualize with me here because we're in a severe drought. This has been water to water every year. And as you guys, if you've watched my videos before, I caught an otter here last year in a one and a half down right here actually on this trail that's beat down underneath these logs. It's a pretty good trail. Otter will run it. But like I said, this is usually water guys. So raccoon and, and otter will travel this in the water too. So the sets I run at a, a